What's up guys, Braver here, and today we're going to be talking about Dosan Saito, the Viper of Mino, a monk who usurped his lord and went from selling oils to selling his daughter to Nobunaga. Dosan Saito's early life is not very well documented, leading to many conflicting stories, which I will try to address as they come up. Dosan Saito was born into the samurai class around the year 1500. Most sources agree that he was born in 1494, though some claim it was 1504. According to the Mino no Shokyuki, or History of Mino, Dosan Saito's ancestors were imperial guards, though there is some debate as to the credibility of this particular work. Whatever the case may be, by the time Dosan was born, his father had been reduced to a simple ronin, looking for work in Yamashiro province. At the age of 11, Dosan decided to become a Buddhist monk, training at the Myokaku Temple in Kyoto, and changing his name to Hodanubu to honor the occasion. After several years of study, Dosan decided to leave the temple. Following his friend and fellow student who had been named priest of a temple in Mino province, Dosan decided to marry an oil salesman's daughter and take up the craft for himself, earning himself prestige and renown after several years due to the theatricality of his pouring. According to an old law written in the history of Mino, an oil seller may not use a funnel when pouring out oil for a sale. However, they may use the hole in a coin, though they may not charge for any additional oil that is spilled while pouring. A law like this may have come into being due to the idea that merchants were on the lowest rung of the social hierarchy due to the fact that they did not create anything of value, merely selling what others had produced. It was popular for merchants to put on an eye-catching act of pouring so they could attract their customers, so that the customers may enjoy the show while also secretly hoping that the oil seller will spill his wares on the floor. Dosan was a successful businessman for many years, until one day a local samurai retainer of the Toki clan came to buy his oil. The samurai told him that though his oil selling skills were very proficient, at the end of the day, it's just a merchant skill. And that if he were to put his efforts towards a martial skill, he would surely become a great samurai. And that it is a shame that he is merely a merchant. Duo-san, after hearing that, closed up his shop and trained to be a soldier, mastering the, the use of the yari and the teppo. Duo-san offered his allegiance to one of the retainers of the samurai serving the local toki who ruled Mino province. Dosan gradually proved his talent through martial arts and his quick wit, and he gained the trust of Yorinari Toki, the second son to the Shugo governor of Mino province. Dosan supported Yorinari in the succession crisis against his older brother after the Shugo governor died, which greatly contributed to Yorinari's appointment as the new Shugo of Mino province. Having solidified himself as a trusted confidant of Yorinari, Dosan plotted to eliminate Nagihiro Nagai, on whom Yorinari also relied on for counsel. Nagihiro was killed in either 1530 or 1533, depending on the sources, leading Dosan to become the primary advisor to the Shugo Yorinari. In 1539, Dosan would begin major renovations of Inabayama Castle, known today as Gifu Castle, as well as the lands surrounding his main keep and future capital of Mino province. Things would not stay rosy between Dosan and Yorinari, however, because in 1541, Dosan would poison Yorinari's younger brother, killing him, which led to a conflict between the two. Though he struggled for a short time, he was finally able to lead an attack on Yorinari's main residence of Ogajo Castle, and expelled Yorinari and his son to Owari province to their south, becoming the ruler of Mino province. However, there is a recent alternative view which claims that it was only Yorinari's son who was expelled to Owari province, and that Yorinari himself stayed in Mino as a puppet shugo. A rakushu poem was created from this upheaval, which said, quote, To kill one's lord or son-in-law is to invite one's own destruction. By Dosan taking over Mino, he was participating in the Gekokujo, common of the Warring States period, where the low conquer the high. Yorinari would not just take things lying down. He collaborated with his older brother, who would lead a force from the north, and Nobuhide Oda, the deputy shugo of Owari province, 
to try and reinstate himself as the rightful ruler of Mino. Dosan's forces were faced with a two-pronged attack. He sent the main bulk of his army to intercept the forces from the north and meet them on the field of battle. His forces won the battle handily. However, by sending his forces north, Dosan had left his southern border exposed, allowing the Oda to march against his stronghold in Inabayama Castle in September of 1547. Nobuhide launched a direct assault against the smaller garrison, but Dosan was able to repel the Oda forces in a crushing victory, sending them back to their home province in Owari. After another decisive victory on November 4th, a few months later, Dosan and Nobuhide called for a ceasefire. Among the terms of the deal were that Dosan's daughter, No, also called Kicho, would marry Nobuhide's son, Nobunaga, so that the peace would last. Another theory states that the reason the ceasefire was called was because Yorinari's older brother also happened to die in November of that year, and that, without the additional support, Nobuhide refused to press Yorinari's claim at the expense of his own soldiers. Nobunaga at the time was often referred to as the Fool of Owari. However, when Dosan arranged to meet his son-in-law for the first time, he was surprised when Nobunaga arrived with a large escort of soldiers and behaved in a very well-mannered way. After Nobunaga left, Dosan is reported to have said that, one day my children will serve that man. Dosan's reign would not last forever. He transitioned leadership to his son, Yoshitatsu, between February 22nd and March 10th, 1554, and retired to a monastery. Some claim that Dosan's sudden retirement was forced by his vassals because he was not thought to be qualified as a domestic ruler. Though he released control to Yoshitatsu, it became apparent that he favored Yoshitatsu's younger brothers more than him. There is a theory that Yoshitatsu was not Dosan's real son, but was actually a son of Yorinari Toki, though we may never know the truth. Dosan began to think about eliminating Yoshitatsu as the head of the family. However, before he could do so, the conflict between them came to a head in 1555 when Yoshitatsu killed his younger brothers and raised his army against Dosan. Few former vassals of the Toki clan sided with Dosan due to the way he had stolen Mino years before. And in April 1556, the following year, Yoshitatsu led 17,500 soldiers against Dosan's smaller force of anywhere between 2,500 and 7,500 soldiers. They fought on the banks of the Nagara River, and though Nobunaga dispatched reinforcements, Dosan would die before they could arrive. He was 63 years old. It is claimed that Dosan who used to describe Yoshitatsu as incompetent, revised his evaluation when he saw Yoshitatsu's command at the Battle of Nagara River. Dosan's head was buried in what is modern-day Josaiji Temple in Gifu City by a former vassal, and his tombstone can still be visited today. Just before Dosan's death at the Battle of Nagara River, there is a record that Dosan's youngest child was sent to Nobunaga carrying a will declaring Dosan's intent to hand over Mino to Nobunaga. The will can be seen today in the letters at Myokaku Temple in Kyoto and the castle tower of Osaka Castle. Nobunaga would later use this as a pretext to conquer Mino province and begin his march toward the capital. Today, the Dosan festival has been held annually during the first half of April since 1972 in Gifu City to recall his great achievements for laying the foundation of the city. In addition, the image of Dosan is displayed in Gif Castle. Dosan Saito represents the core of Gekokujo from the Sengoku period. Starting as a lowly oil salesman, he was able to use his skills to position himself as the lord of Mino province. All of his efforts would be for naught, however, because soon after his death, Nobunaga would claim Mino for himself, taking it away from Dosan's children, leaving Dosan's legacy as just a small stepping stone on Nobunaga's path to conquest. I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content about the historical figures of Japan as well as related content. Until then, have a nice day.